Hello, hello, everybody. It's me, Cat Dog Pig Duck, and welcome back to another episode of the TPP I Server. I'm always scared I'm going to put too many peas in the middle. There's only two, so keep that in mind, folks. <laughs> uh, so welcome back. Um, as you can see behind me, uh, I've cleaned up. Oh, behind me, in front of me. There we go. I've cleaned up my uh, energy cell generator area here a little bit. You know, tried to just make it a little nicer looking. Uh, I put some of these on here. These are just covers to cover up some of the wires. So I think that looks really nice. And uh, yeah, it's working out pretty good. Instead of having the wires run all over the place, I ran them under the house. So And I moved uh, some of my stuff over here. I made another one of these metallurgic infusers. And so this one is going to be dedicated to making steel. And at the moment, this one is dedicated to making these guys. So if you put iron in here... And redstone it makes its crazy noise and creates what is what are these called they're called enriched alloys so here's the recipe but it should be shooting them into this trunk over here I've still haven't quite figured out this uh, the GUI on this yet but it does seem to be working there we go yeah it's definitely shooting them in these trunks and I set this one to shoot into this trunk so we're getting steel out of it, or steel dust. Um, I also set up a pulverizer, because we're going to need some stuff pulverized today. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to show you guys something real quick. Up here, I have my mining turtle ready and waiting. Bob Newhart, he's ready to go. And got a lot of materials here, some fitted quarry stone. Um, I went ahead and dug out the side of this a little bit. I didn't do a great job at it, but... I figure uh, I got to see what the outcome is before I do it, but let's grab our turtle real quick. I'm noticing with uh, when I was running wires and stuff down here that I'm going to run out of room pretty quick if I start delving into these mods as much as I want to. So I think I need a very tall cylindric uh, building here, so like a tower. Let's call it a tower. So luckily, uh, one of the programs I downloaded earlier in these uh, playthroughs is a building program and I, I never quite showed it to you guys and I figured this would be a good opportunity. So I want to build a cylinder tower so we're just going to go ahead and fill him up. Uh, shift click doesn't work with this but there we go. Just fill him completely up because he's going to it's going to be pretty tall. Now I named the program that I downloaded build so we're just going to type in build and look at all this look at all these shapes and things I could do. There's even a next screen. There's even more than this. But we are we are concerned with cylinder. So let's try that let's type that bad boy in and see what it tells us. Uh, do you want to calculate the cost? No. Do you want the turtle to restart return to start after build? Uh, yes I do. Yes I do. Do you want the turtle? Nope. Don't want that. What radius does it need to be? I think I settled on eleven. Yeah, so this may be a completely messed up thing, and I'll have to tear the whole thing down, but, you know, that's part of the fun, too. So the radius of my cylinder is going to be 11, correct? How high does it need to be? At the moment, I'm going to set it to 20. Does that seem too tall? Who cares? Let's do it. So he's off. It should, the first one should be, oh, crap. Okay, that is a little off. Hmm, I was hoping it would be here. <laughs> So he's already started, and I don't want to stop him. I might stop him when he gets back around, but look at him. He's a little doing a little break dance over there, building a cylinder. Look at his little circle. Man, this is yeah, this is gonna be too big. I think I need to go with nine. Um come here, Bella. Come here. Come here. Ah, oh, he's getting away from me. Come back. This is too big. It's too big, turtle. There we go. Oh my god, why'd I do it up here? Well, anyway, let's grab that turtle. Let's see. <laughs> let's, let's reset that for 9. I think 11 was a little too big. Look at that. Yeah, 9 is definitely going to be better. I did a test with 7 as the radius, and it didn't seem that big, so I decided to bump it up to 11, which apparently these things are... Uh, maybe it's exponential? I don't know. 
So anyway, we've got to tear all that down now, but let's go ahead and start him up at 9. And I think that'll, that'll put him here. I hope so. So we'll put that... Actually, let's tear this down so he's flush to the ground. Okay, let's do it. Let's try this one more time. Build. Do you want to continue the last job? No. Cylinder. No. Yes, please. Do no. And building blocks. Here you go. Get in there. What radius does it need to be? Nine this time. Let's try nine. I always try to keep things in odd numbers. What radius? Yes. How high does it need to be? So we're going to go with 20 again. And he's off. Hopefully this time, right there. He's one off. Damn it. <laughs> How am I so bad at math? I, was, I wanted it to line up with this. So bad. Well, anyway, we'll just let him go. Let him do his magic. And we're going to have a huge tower here. And I actually want it to go all the way down to the water. So this is going to be a lot of quarried stone, so I'm probably going to have to get a lot more. So anyway, we'll let uh, old Bob Duhart get to work here. We'll tear this down off, off episode. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look at him. He's tearing it up over there. Very cool. So that's the build program. You can just let that go while we're doing stuff. And yeah, so uh, I was looking through the mechanism items here, and there's a lot of cool stuff I want to make. Um, look at this. It's a robot named Robit. Um, we're not going to make him today, but we can at least get started on some of this stuff. Um, ideally, I want to make this jetpack. Uh, let's see here. And it looks like it runs on gas. So there's a couple here. There's an armored jetpack. Let's see if... We, but there's no recipe for it. But there is a regular jetpack, so I think that's what we're going for. And that takes a control circuit, steel, tin, a tin, and this gas tank. And this gas tank is just osmium surrounded by blah, blah, blah. So anyway, let's uh, see if we can make a gas tank real quick. I should have that. And uh, do I have any osmium ingots up here? I, gosh, I hope so. That would only make sense, right? Nope, I sure don't. Let's go make some downstairs. Okay. Any here? Here's some. Perfect. So this will make our tank. Bloop. One gas tank. Cool. So, okay, so we got that component. The next thing I think we need to make is a circuit board. And it seems like in this mod pack the circuit boards are uh, swappable with electronic circuits from Industrial Craft. Let's take a look real quick. I already forget. Just making the regular jetpack. Control circuit uh, is an enriched alloy, which we have a ton of now, and redstone. Okay, we can do that. Let's grab some redstone here real quick. Yeah, one of these alloys we have made. Back to over here to the crafting table. Let's make one of those. Plonk. All right, we got that. What's next? So we just need steel and tin. Let's see, I got some steel here and some tin there. Perfect. Let's see if we can just go ahead and shift-click this in. Nope. These uh, tanks must not be stackable. So let's uh, let's do it manually. Hooray. Okay, there you go, jetpack. So I don't have any fuel for this yet. It runs off of hydrogen, I think. I'm, I'm just guessing, really. Um, so let's take a look and see what it looks like. I think it goes in you. <laughs> hey, look, I've got wings. Let's take a look-see here. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. That is pretty epic looking. I like that it has little glider wings. That's pretty cool. It's almost like the, the power armor model, but a little better, I think. Cool. So we've got wings now, but uh, we need hydrogen to put in this thing. So uh, my guess is I need to make an item that separates hydrogen and oxygen from water. And I think this little doodad does it. It's called an electrolytic, yeah, separator. So the hardest part in it is this this thing here. It requires just like dust from random metals. Two osmium dust, one gold dust, one that. We need a bunch of enriched alloys. 
Luckily, I went ahead and made these things for your convenience and my own. Let's get to it. Uh, ba -ba. So it was an X of alloys. Or maybe I could shift click this in. Let's. Where are you, little guy? There we go. Shift click, please. Ah, oh, perfect. And I needed one. We may as well make another. When you're making stuff, always oh, just make two. Who are we fooling? We probably need to. Uh, ba -ba, what's next? So yeah, that's the middle. The redstone is in there. And iron. Do we have iron on us? We don't. Hopefully, hopefully I got a little bit over here. Iron? I have iron. Okay, we could probably make this thing right away. Hopefully it allows for you just to throw a bucket of water in there. Because I don't have a pump or anything. I guess we could make an aqueous accumulator to pump water into the thing. That's an option. So let's shift click. Oh, we can make two. We'll just make one. Okay, so let's hook this up to some power here. I, I think I cleared out a little space. Yeah, there we go. Let's uh, go ahead and put one more up and throw this bad boy down. Oh man, look at that thing. How is that not... Th these models for the mechanism stuff are just amazing. Okay, so it's got power. Um, I don't... This looks like an input of some sort, so I'm guessing we're going to put water in there. I'm not sure where to charge up a tank. Maybe we just hook a tank up to it and it'll shoot it in there? We'll see. Oop, oop, oop. So three buckets of water. Hopefully that is enough. Let's see here. Oh, it took it. That's good. So is it electrolyzing? It is. Ah, very cool. So now, oh, I think I can put an item here to charge it. I hope. Let's put another bucket in there. It's definitely collecting this stuff. That's cool. So let's take off our jetpack and stick it in there and see if we can get this bad boy to work. Uh, it takes hydrogen, which is over here. Oh, it is. It works. It's got a little bit of charge. Okay, these things take a while. Huh. Okay, maybe it would behoove me to make two of these. Looks like I'm going to need more water. So let's go ahead and get more water. We're definitely going to need an aqueous accumulator or something. So I think we're going to grab some water real quick, and then we're going to make an aqueous accumulator and get it making water for this thing. So it's just constantly, it'll constantly have a nice supply of hydrogen for it. So I think I can run a water pipe right up here. Let's just throw this water. No, we'll, we'll need the water anyway for the aqueous accumulator. So we'll throw one bucket of it in there. And I think I even have an aqueous accumulator set up here. Boom. I need to go get some fluid ducts. Do I even have fluid ducts? That is a good question. Fluid ducts, hello? I do! I planned ahead and I didn't even know it. Oop. Okay, so let's set this guy up in the basement and then we'll have it pump water right into this this fella. So maybe back here. Yeah, I think I want it to go up right behind it. We'll go and put a cover there. But down here, we'll make a little nest for it. Perfect. Throw your aqueous accumulator down there. Throw a bucket of water, bucket of water. Get your fluid ducts. I think I even have some uh, pneumatic servos, but I don't think you need them. Yep, I think it's already pumping it. Pump it. Oh, that's the wrong type. Heavens. Get back here. Nope. Ah. Get out of there. This one. Now let's see if that's putting water into it. Oops. Okay. It's filling it with water. It's a smart little thing. So at the moment, it's getting more oxygen than it needs. I guess we could make one of these. I saw it down here. It was called a scuba tank. Let's take a look. I just saw it. It was yellow. Scuba tank. These look pretty easy to make. Maybe we should just go ahead and make one. Yeah. That way we could use both of them. So we've got those. I think it just required iron and a circuit chip. And I can do that. I can make that. 
Hello? There we go. So it was like this, right? This makes a circuit? It sure does. Get out of here, iron. So, where can I click this in? There we go. Oh, it doesn't have a little shift click. But anyway, enriched alloy, steel, steel, steel. Okay, that's easy enough. Enriched, it was like this, right? Just three steel on the bottom. And I got it, cool. So, it's a scuba tank. I can only imagine it allows me to breathe underwater, which would be hella cool. Um, I wonder if there is a scuba mask that will allow me to see underwater, because it's very dark under there. So that's good. That'll drain up that oxygen. And this thing is pulling double duty. Very cool. Looks like my jetpack is uh, moderately charged up. This electrolyzer is a little slow, or whatever you want to call it. Let's see if we can get this thing to work. I'm a little scared. Oh! Okay. Ooh! Alright, we're going. Here we go. Okay, that works pretty good. I wonder if there's like a hover mode. Mode regular. Let's go. Ooh! Hold on. We have to go into F5. Oh! Oh my goodness, look at it. It shoots fire out the back. That is totally badass. Da 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 Oh look my turtle! Hi turtle! Oh man, look at that awesome tower he's building. This is amazing. I'm so pleased with this. So let's uh now that we've tested that out, ooh. I definitely gotta figure out how to change modes in this thing. it might just involve hitting the M key. No, that didn't change anything. Uh I think I'll probably have to go and actually enable that. So let's uh Check out this scuba tank while we're at it. We can put the jetpack back in here. Huh. Doing things in third person is kind of difficult. There we go. So let's put this guy on. So you think I can swim on mode off? Oh, how do I turn it on? All right, let's uh, go to, is it escape? Options, controls. Uh, let's see here, is there a mechanism one? Configure. Mechanism mode switch is currently set as M. Let's find one that's not conflicting with anything. Apparently everything. H. We're going to set it for H. So H. Ooh. That made a cool noise. All right. We're going swimming. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. Wait. Can I see? No. Still can't see very well. But let's see what happens when my, uh, I probably need a helmet for this, right? Wouldn't you think? Oh, nope, nope. Definitely you're missing something. Just because you have a scuba tank doesn't mean you can breathe underwater. Okay, lesson learned. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, we'll investigate that. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just need a fancy helmet of some sort. Let me see if I can jump up on this meteor rock. There we go. Whoop! Hey! Ooh! Oh, we're almost up! I should have brought the jetpack with me. What was I thinking? Well, anyway, guys, that's some really cool stuff. Other than uh, I can't figure out why the scuba tank doesn't work. Is there any? Is there a scuba mask? Gas mask. I bet you this is it. Glass, steel, and another electronic circuit. We got all this stuff. Let's uh, let's make that. Let's get decked out in full scuba gear. Okay, that makes a circuit. Hopefully I got some glass up here. I do. Uh, uh, gas mask. Shift click. There we go, we got a gas mask now. Let's take a look at this thing. You think this is the right stuff? I don't know. So, uh, put on the gas mask. That would make sense, right? Oh my god! <laughs> what the crap? All right, I think it's working. Oh man, the oxygen is going down fast in this thing. So it's actually using the oxygen, which, and my bubble meter isn't going down. So pretty cool. Uh, very nice. So, hey, we figured out the scuba gear. I love it. Very cool. 
now it just needs like a light on it so I could see underwater. I mean, that's that's the only real issue with going underwater. I, I can always turn into a squid, even though that feels kind of cheaty. But uh, very cool. I should have brought the jetpack with me again. Not thinking. Well, anyway, guys, I want to let me get in the right mode here. And uh, as always, I want to thank all you gorgeous people for watching. If you like the video, just give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. Just do it. Look at me. I'm wearing a funny little... I look like some sort of reject supervillain. Yep, looks like I'm about ready to make some meth. You guys want to make some meth? Sounds like a plan. Hooray! <laughs> well, thanks for watching. I bow to you. And we'll see you guys all real soon. Bye!